theoretically, if you're going to have a spiral action, there would be ligaments this way and ligaments this way. And sometimes it's to rotate the radius, which is how it's described in the literature, which is an overcurve. Sometimes it's to rotate the owner, which is an undercurve. And that's not usually mentioned. We've mentioned it a lot here because it has a lot to do with the tennis elbow. One of the things I'd like to explore this morning is how it ro we rotate the radius in the, uh, in the owner as it affects the upper arm, as well as how it affects the hand. So if you'll put one hand out in front of you. The reason uh, you have your elbow next to your body is because out here you can do things in the shoulder, so this is more, be sure your elbow's tucked in next to your body, so it's not going to go into your shoulder. And feel a diagonal line like this, so that it's going to rotate your radius, that flow line. Is that clear what I'm saying? If not, poke somebody and ask them. So this would be flowing in this direction, and then flow that same line, but in the other direction. So just play with that for a moment. So you're flowing in that direction across, and then you're going to flow in this direction. So it's the same line, diagonal from the upper radius to the lower owner, except you're going, you're not doing one long swoop, you're going all along, and then you flow in the other direction. And anyone who does massage will know that there are areas here that are tighter than others, which will show you where the lines are not flowing in one of those directions, <coughs> either proximal to distal or distal to proximal. You'll get more rotation if you're 90 degrees than if you're extended. A lot of it has to do with the biceps. It's also a rotator and a flexor. So if you put it on stretch, you're not going to have as much range. Um, so is that clear? So now let's take the other line and we're going to move the owner that way and this way. So this is going to... You could also come across the back this way. So when you come across the front, you're going to be lengthening that. And if you come across here, you're going to be shortening. So we're on the same line. So if I'm going to move my owner that way, I'm going to stretch that line. I'm going to lengthen that line. But if I'm on the back side, I'm going to be shortening that line. What happens if you're moving this end versus the hand? Mm. So instead of moving the radius towards your hand, you move the radius toward your spine. Mm. So put your so before we were this way, go so this way. You could also you could do either way, but, but you're coming this way. And then you're opening. I didn't do this way. I wanted to, actually I wanted to stay on the same diagonal. I'm moving this way and this way. Could be either way. I'm moving this way and this way. You could take either diagonal, but I'm keeping the same one we had. That this is moving toward your body, and this is moving away from your body. We don't usually think of this aspect. So put your hand. I'm on a different diagonal from what I'm doing. I could have done it this way. It would be that way. 
This is this way. So instead of going that way, you're going this way. And instead of going, that's all radius, instead of going, <laughs> you're going out. Either going out or you're coming in, depending which angle you're on. Take, take the owner also so that the your owner's coming toward you and it's going away from you. Or it could be going that way, outward or inward. And then after you've done that, come into a supporting posture and feel the difference between the arm that you're exploring and the arm that you're not exploring. Well, I finally understood the instruction in yoga about what to do with your elbow, but 25 or 30 years ago, Oh no, you pull because this I have a lot of freedom here. And so it's no, it's not about where you put the elbow, it's about finding the spiral to get the stability rather than where you put your elbow. So I have a lot of plug here. So I could do I mean that's the possibility I have. But it's less about where the alignment is and more about where the spiral is for stability. So if I'm here, if I find the spiral, then I'm stable. If I just go, oh no, the elbow is supposed to be blah, 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 and there may not be in that, but it's this.